Hi everyone, uh, Fosh Mohamed Sharaf with you. Um, today we are going to talk about uh, hybrid. Uh, actually, they're talking about uh, uh, reverse osmosis desalination um, is still uh, under uh, processing. Uh, therefore, um, our topic today is about um, hybrid uh, power systems for reverse osmosis desalination. Reverse osmosis is just um, uh, an applicable example about uh, how to use different hybrid system and how can you synchronize between uh, these uh, systems of uh, power generation. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, inform you that um, don't forget to uh, to do the following: like, share, and subscribe in order to support us. Uh, to introduce more and more uh, videos about uh, renewable uh, energy, especially renewable desalination um, systems. Uh, you have to specify your main uh, folder or the folder of destination or destination folder and go here and sort by name and group by type. Okay, and you'll find your this is your, uh, your drive, your folders, working folder, and this is your main. Uh, folder uh, this is my folder containing uh, my models okay my, uh, my mod okay we have two models we have um, uh, um, a manual model you can control uh, the system manually and we have dynamic modeling and you can form uh, both of these uh, units let's win from uh, uh, the basics one from by the use of uh, manual one we have here a uh, reverse osmosis desalination plant, okay, and we have uh, photovoltaic systems, and uh, we have a diesel generator, uh, wind turbine, and concentrated solar gas engine uh, cycle, Stirling or Brighton cycle. You can deal with both uh, units. Uh, more than this, you have you can uh, you utilize almost 12 working gases in this model. It's an impressive model. And we have for wind turbine, we have two uh, two types of wind turbine: vertical one and horizontal one. And this is generator as a backup. And uh, we have the main grid also attached to this um, uh, uh, model. Let's go inside and see uh, what we can do about that. Okay, this is our main uh, model. Okay, as you can see here, we have reverse osmosis with energy uh, devices uh, and basic belt and wheel and uh, 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 pressure exchanger type. Uh, we demonstrated all of this before individually. So, and um, today we are going to discover how can we uh, run this um, uh, together. Uh, and we have control system. This is control room for uh, load variation between different types of uh, power resources. Horizontal X, vertical X, PV, uh, this is two types of photovoltaics, watt per meter square or kilowatt hour per, per meter square. And uh, we have um, our square meter. We have diesel generator and um, concentrated solar gas engines, two types and main grid. Okay, first of all, this is your load. This is your application load. You can double clicking here and you can assign uh, three types of uh, reverse osmosis. You can assign your temperature, salinity, gradients, uh, productivity. Suppose I am going to uh, 2000, uh, 26,000 uh, meter cube per day. And I think from uh, my experience says that the pressure of is around uh, 140 for this, particularly for this uh, productivity. And number of elements per visit is normally seven. Uh, uh, recovery ratio is around uh, 30. And this this part is for um, pressure exchange and better wheel. Let's go, let's run basic configuration. So we assign this, we can assign uh, main configuration you can distribute your load between uh, different types manually i mean suppose i am going for photovoltaic horizontal wind turbine photovoltaic vertical wind turbine photovoltaic with diesel generator concentrated solar gas engine normally work uh, works alone and the main grid load so it's up to you you can uh, decide which type you are going to to use 
uh, in case of uh, photovoltaic attached to uh, horizontal or vertical turbines and uh, and this is generator you can assign the load between photovoltaic at zero this is fully photovoltaic load and uh, one means uh, full uh, uh, horizontal or vertical or this is it. suppose I'm going for 0 0.5 0 0.5 load variation uh, I'm sorry, yes okay this is membrane replacement uh, load factor uh, some cost uh, parameters you can assign okay um, we don't see this is before okay and for horizontal wind turbine you can um, choose your module type what is your module type you are going to use okay suppose it's uh, 100 uh, kilowatt module it depends on your uh, location and for vertical wind turbine i i need to go to uh, the, um, the upper limits of 50 kilowatts that's no, there's no more than 50 kilowatts per module and photovoltaic uh, i need i will go through uh what per meter square okay and for diesel generator you can just uh, what is your fuel calorific value is it methane or or diesel or whatever your uh, fuel type air to fuel ratio normally and you can assign your mechanical efficiency and volumetric efficiency this is these are normal values and the power uh, pressure what is your uh, indicated pressure normally at 15 bars something like this and your stroke your bore and stroke number of cylinders four stroke engine or two stroke engine you can select between uh, these types for a uh, concentrated solar gas engine it's um, that's a different story it's it's um, a plant by itself so you can uh you can utilize what is your top cycle it's a design model what is your type uh, top cycle temperature uh stirling or brighter engine I, I will go for most efficient stirling engine what is your gases co2 air uh, I, I do recommend co2 gases okay based on my previous uh, uh, publications in uh, around this area your uh, rim angle what is your rim, rim angle okay and um, uh, okay let's go for operating conditions operating hours you can assign operating hours solar radiation steering engine uh, standing engine power it's normally around to, uh, 25 up to 30 kilowatt per, per engine uh, number of uh, of uh, cylinders normally four or five cylinders uh, rpm for Brighton, we need just the power from the Brighton engine. We can uh, also, if we are going to run a Brighton engine. For performance, what is your efficiencies? Because this is a design. Mirror type, you can select your mirror type from here. And some cost parameters you can assign here based on your uh, location. For main grid, we just need operating hours, normally 24 hours. And uh, what is your main grid power cost? It's up to you. It's up to your location. What is your electric cost in your uh, district? Okay, so we are ready now to run. Set your simulation time into zero and hit run. And let's see um, uh, what is going on. Okay, and uh, we have to wait. Okay, uh, as you can see here, we we choose that. Uh, uh, to run based on 50% uh, for each photovoltaic or horizontal wind turbine so as you can see here we have this is load on uh, horizontal wind turbine this is your total load uh, this is uh, the load demanded by uh, reverse osmosis plant in order to uh, produce um, uh, 26,000 uh, meter cube per day or cubic meter per day so uh, this model is a design model so you can uh, inspect your design and this is your load on photovoltaics and this is your load on, uh, on horizontal wind turbine suppose i would like to go uh, uh, on uh, but first of all you can therefore you can go inside here from here and inspect what is your uh, results let's go for uh, horizontal wind turbine first and you will discover your results from here as you can see here this is load on horizontal wind turbine number for wind turbine for one uh, 100 uh, each 
uh, a, a module a power 100 kilowatts and as you can see this is your power coefficients uh, this is your minimum st or starting wind speed this is your average wind speed rotor diameter have height uh, rotor speed turbine costs and your uh, total costs uh, if you go inside uh, let's go for photovoltaic system you can go here we, we choose this one so you can go here and uh, try to uh, design your cost performance what is your module type batteries and so on so if you look inside photovoltaic system you'll discover total area we need this total area for uh, 4000 kilowatts or 4 mega and battery storage amplitude number of batteries and uh, uh, total cost so if you go here in uh, control room you will find your results here as you can see here there is uh, there is no cost on the main grid okay and this is your uh, water price based on uh, the, uh, utilizing photovoltaic and uh, horizontal wind turbine okay uh, suppose I, I, I I'm sorry I have to go here let's go and choose another let's go for concentrated solar gas engine okay okay and go inside here and watch the price based on only uh, let's hit run first only concentrated solar gas engine um, there is no power on photovoltaic or horizontal turbine you realize this yes the total power is on uh, concentrated solar gas engine so if you go inside here this is, this is there is some kind of changes in um, in cost you only put the cost this is total water price and there is no uh, wind there is no photovoltaic there is no um, uh, main grid uh, costs okay and suppose I am going for uh, this is uh, you, you can also go inside here let's go in uh, uh, yes concentrated solar gas engine and this is uh, sterling so you can discover air, uh, 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 compression ratio plant total area dish area dish diameter dish height uh, rim angle, total plant cost, efficiency of the sterling engine, total plant efficiency, sterling engine, this is based on uh, CO2, okay, uh, this is carbon dioxide, and st uh, piston stroke, uh, sterling pressure ratio, uh, sterling top pressure, uh, capital cost, mean effective pressure, and a lot of uh, outputs you can handle. And um, let's go for diesel generator. Uh, so I let's go for diesel with photovoltaic uh, suppose i am going for uh, four load uh, nearly four fully load and 90 percent load on, uh, on photovoltaic and let's hit run and see because there is no diesel generator for um for for four megawatts it's quite massive so as you can see here this is a uh, load on photovoltaic and this is your load on uh, on uh, uh, a diesel generator so you can go inside here and discover indicated power uh, torque rbm uh, mean peric pressure efficiency uh, air volume um, air mass flow rate and fuel mass flow rates and specific fuel consumption and your cost and if you go inside here this is your cost total cost based on your uh, choice okay um this is manual you can set your simulation time in order to uh, uh, at infinity in order to make some changes and see your results but i do prefer the other methods let's go for the another method it's dynamically and uh, the advantage of this one is that you can choose your operative conditions or i mean load conditions uh, this is dynamic modeling you can set your time up to 24 hours or or infinity whatever you would like and uh, let's go here okay there's some kind of uh, limitations we have we have upper limit it's around because I set my limitations let's go here inside let's go here okay this is my load condition so uh, I change it just we have if the power upper uh, uh, more than the upper limit so or go higher than the upper limit so uh, we need the main grid to be operated and the other uh, units should be shut off 
and uh, if we are between the upper limit and medium limit so we are going to use horizontal wind turbine and concentrated solar gas engine and we suppose we uh, between the medium limit and lower limits so we need concentrated solar gas engine and photovoltaic and suppose we uh, b below the lower limit so therefore we need to work on diesel generator and uh, vertical wind turbine surely you can change this you can ch ch choose different types you can add signal builder here and uh, from outside and you can add another uh, load condition such as solar radiation or um, or uh, the wind conditions in your area so in, in suppose you are uh, in during uh, the sun periods uh, you have to use uh, photovoltaic beside uh, solar gas engine suppose you have a windy time so therefore you can utilize vertical or horizontal during night you can utilize main grid and uh, diesel generator it's up to you it's uh, fully editable so you can change you can uh, do what you would like uh, um, let's go dynamically okay and let's first of all we have to set our uh, let's go for 26,000 uh, the same example 140 pressure vessels and um, basic con configuration okay and let's just run and see uh, the variation uh, the load variation saving let's just run first okay so we are running uh, dynamically I will change the productivity or as you can see here we are running on uh, the main grid as you can see here because the load is uh, over exceeded the upper limit okay let's decreasing uh, let's decreasing the productivity the system productivity and decreasing as you can see here the cursor is uh, going down let's decreasing also the number of pressure vessels down to 50 or 60 i'm decreasing the productivity decreasing the productivity means uh, the power is decreasing also so as you can see here uh, yes now we are running or, or, or on um, a concentrated solar gas engine and horizontal wind turbine let's continue decreasing continue decreasing as you can see here uh, therefore we are running on uh, concentrated solar gas engine and photovoltaic okay let's continue decreasing the power and uh, the productivity and we find ourselves uh, working on yes vertical wind turbine and uh, uh, diesel generator it's around 400 kilowatts normally you can find diesel generator around this and vertical wind turbine is more reasonable to to select and let us stop and you can distribute your load between um, between diesel generator or photovoltaic and, and as a, um, a vertical wind turbine and horizontal wind turbine and this is your upper limit this is your medium limit and this is your lower limit you can change all of this it's up to you and the rest uh, are the same as we demonstrated before uh, let's go here and expect some uh, some results you can expect your results from here or from your MATLAB workspace you can go here that's an inspector and this is your um, total membrane area okay and specific power consumption varying uh, reversibility exergy feed brine uh, exergy uh, pressure and this is your uh, load variation on and uh, let's go for this is your load on horizontal wind turbine and this is your load on vertical wind turbine as you can see there is a huge difference between poles load on photovoltaic and load on vertical wind turbine as you can see let's go for uh, photovoltaic and this is generator loads different load on concentrated solar gas engine and on main grid as you can see there is a difference between uh, poles uh, let's go for uh, unit product cost i think uh, unit product cost is here and you can discover many many uh, this co cost variation annual total costs membrane costs and um, let's go and say i need a unit product cost i will check this uh, i have to okay and um, 
I'm not sure I send it to uh, to the transport alone. So you you have to deal with your outputs. You can send it to a figure. You can control it. Let's go here and see. And uh, yes, yo. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm and I I couldn't send it. So send it to data inspector so you can discover your results finally i would like to uh, thank you very much for your interest in our model don't forget to uh, uh, like share and uh, subscribe uh, thank you very much